Hello and welcome to our very first tutorial, our online tutorials. We'll be using these videos anytime I need to impart information where you really just need to take notes, a lecture setting, uh, or step-by-step -step instructions. So be sure that you're paying attention, that you're taking notes, um, that you pause, rewind, rewatch as many times as you need so that you understand the concepts pre presented in the video. So this video is to guide your annotating process and your first reading piece. I know you've been working with annotations since your freshman year, if not earlier, but this is about annotating nonfiction. So much of what we read in this class is nonfiction, and it's different than what you've been used to doing uh, for the most part in your English classes. So I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Your annotations are a visual recording of the reading experience, your reading experience, your thoughts and processes. So here's a sample page um, from a text written by Slavov Zizak, one of my favorite uh, film theorists. And as you can see, I've marked up the page, I've asked some questions, and I've really worked through the text. And this is just my first run through with this particular text. So before reading, there are a few things that you should do to prepare. First is to set your purpose. And you can do this by changing your title into a question, just pretty simple and straightforward. But you also want to make sure that you understand the meaning of the title. So if there's something that you're not sure, a word or a concept, phrase, in that title, you need to do some research beforehand, looking it up, asking questions, of other people who might know about the subject um, so that you go in with an understanding of what you're going to be reading about. You then should identify info about the author, the source, and the publication date. This will set the context of what you're reading. Remember, nonfiction pieces and everything you're, that you're reading comes from a point of view. So if you're asking questions to the author, you should know a little something about them. And then you should skim through any headings, subheadings, and reading the after reading questions so that you have those in mind as you read. And anytime you see what could potentially answer those questions, you know, ding, 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 you need to annotate your thoughts about that. During reading, you should be actively reading. That means pen, pencil in hand, highlighter, whatever you're using. You should be ready to use a marking system. Now I'm going to leave this up to you. You'll come up with your own. Um, but this could be highlighting in different colors, underlining some keywords, but circling and boxing others. Um, whatever system you come up with, it needs to work for you. And you should be annotating for the following. Now, those of you who have had me before will be familiar with these. But just do a refresh to have them fresh in your mind so if I happen to give you a quiz tomorrow that you are familiar with them. So the first thing I ask you to read, and this is really your initial understanding, is reading for new information. That's your in initial understandings of the text, those key concepts and ideas. And your notes, your marginalia notes, should say, what about this information is new? What do you understand about it? In your own words, don't simply repeat the definition that they gave, gave you, but what's your understanding? Is it different from the way you thought about a subject before? You've heard of this concept before, but what new understanding are you getting about it? And does it relate to something else in the text or that you've read previously? Your notes, your annotations, should answer these questions about the text that you've underlined or highlighted. The second thing that I ask you to annotate for are interesting and significant ideas. And again, your notes should reflect what about that information is interesting or significant. How does it connect to information you already know? Does it relate to something else from within the text? Is the author building an argument or making specific connections? How is the word cho choice and language significant? How is the author directing an idea by using specific language and terminology? What conclusion are you making about this information? Again, this should all be in your annotations, your notes. The third thing I ask you to annotate for are new 
slash key terms. So not only should you understand the definition of these new and or key terms, but think about why the word is important. Why has the author used this word? Why is it sticking out to you? Does the word perhaps have different meanings and the author is playing with those meanings? Which is he or she using? What's important about that word? How does it relate back to the main idea, the key concept? Is it different in some way? Is it a common word used in a different word? And what impact does that have on your understanding? Again, all in your notes. And finally, and I think this might be the most important piece that you annotate for in that first read through, and that is confusing information. It's okay to be confused. We all are sometimes when we're reading new ideas, and especially the texts you're going to be reading this semester. So you should be asking specific questions to the text. Imagine that this is a lecture and that you are going to raise your hand and ask the author what he or she means about something, a concept you're unfamiliar with, that something that's not working for you and not making sense, that's kind of vague or ambiguous. You should get your questions down, but your annotations should really reflect what you're thinking about this concept. So making some notes, I think he means this, but he could mean this. You know, working through the process. So you should come to class tomorrow not only with an understanding of these annotations, but your initial understandings of the piece that I assigned in class today. We will be working with those, and you're going to demonstrate that you understand the different types of annotations working with the text, so you have to do this. You'll get bonus points if you say the keyword. The keyword is Zizek. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.